The Toledo women's basketball team hosted the Toledo Invite at Savage Arena and took on the Detroit Titans on the opening day of the tournament. The Rockets struggled shooting the ball early and found themselves trailing 17 to 11 after eight minutes. But led by Junior Inmathanagher's 13 first half points, the Rockets were able to outscore the Titans 30 to 12 over the last nine minutes to take the lead 41 to 29 into halftime. In the second half, Toledo extended the lead to 18 with 10 and a half minutes left to go. The Titans, however, would respond with a 17 to four run to get within five points. That's when freshman Lindsey Baker drained back-to-back -back three pointers to stretch the lead back to double digits. Baker finished with 12 points in her college debut on four three pointers. Fellow freshman Elena De Alfredo also saw her first minutes of the year and added 10 points as the Rockets bench produced 24 points on the night. Donna Guerra scored a team high 18 points and grabbed 11 rebounds in her second double double game of the season. She also notched five steals to tie her career high. Senior Andela Dorch posted a double double of her own with 12 points and a season best 11 assists to go along with the four steals. Seniors Brianna Jones and Janelle Reed Lewis scored 12 and 10 points to give the Rockets six players in the double figures as Toledo went on to win the game 79 to 70. It was a great matchup for us. We're glad to be back home. It's good to be back in the friendly confines of Savage and have our 3,800 favorite friends around us. On Saturday, the Rockets faced off against the Valparaiso Crusaders. Toledo struggled from the field, sinking only 23 of 63 attempts in the entire game. The Rockets had only 13 turnovers to Valpo's 25, and Toledo also managed to snag 14 steals during this matchup. Toledo ended the game with three players in double figures. Senior Brianna Jones scored a total of 10 points for the Rockets. Freshman Lindsey Baker put up 11 points, and senior Janelle Reed Lewis had the team high with 12 total points in tonight's game. Leading the team in rebounds was Inmathana Guerra with 13 boards. She also added 7 points and 2 steals on the night. And the Ladorch had a game high of 6 steals against the Crusaders. The score was neck and neck almost the entire second half. Unfortunately, to end this weekend's tournament, Toledo fell short in a close game with a final score of 63 to 61. We know that these type of losses can be fixed, and that's the good thing about tonight. I mean, um, for, we're fortunate enough that we're playing teams that are challenging us a lot, and we're going to learn, and we're going to keep working, and you just need to try and um, take what's positive about the game, and that is that we have a lot of work to do, and they're exposing our weaknesses so um, we can see it we can keep working on it and we're gonna get better we're a young team we have a lot of things to work on we have the whole season ahead of us and I know we'll be okay our future is really bright you know we just couldn't buy a basket and in crucial moments we had every shot we wanted to tie the game to go above and we just couldn't knock it down and I feel for our kids because you know they gave everything they had it just came up short the Rockets go to take on St. Bonaventure on Sunday, December 15th at 1 p.m. And they are back in action in Savage Arena on Sunday, December 22nd at 2 p.m. against the Dayton Flyers. See you at the game.